Hello YouTube, this is uh, Mark with his video on the Man About Tools reply. I'm doing a part two um, where I'm actually making the upgraded box. This is one of the boxes and I had an idea. Instead of doing inlaid stones like I had planned, which would have been beautiful, but a lot of work and it's hard to find tiles, what I've ended up doing for my kids is making this into a castle. So there's the castle door, there's a castle window, there's a castle window. And so my garden frame on the outside will be a castle, an interlocking castle. Um, and I've used Play-Doh, or not Play-Doh, I used plasticine, the oil-based dollar store plasticine, to seal the box because I thought silicone is kind of hard for me to work with. I'm not familiar with it that well. But I don't see why plasticine shouldn't work. And it's non-toxic, it's safe for the fingers. And... Uh, can wipe it on and get it in the cracks very easily and reuse it in theory. It's the first time I'm using it, but I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, I'm using it to build a door frame and put the door seam. And if this works, it can add more detail. Add brickwork with the plasticine and so on. And over here is the other box. Pardon the light. Very bright light right today. And this is the other box where it also has the plasticine in it and has a door and one window and they will go in series together interlocking and so yeah my kids helped me put the plasticine in they, they uh, so it's a little bit heavier on, <laughs> on this one because they, they kind of went to town with the plasticine but I figure this is non-toxic kids can do it and you can add a lot more detail with the plasticine you know, then maybe with the silicone. So I'll show you the uh, end result. When I cast it, I got myself a cement mixer a while back from a neighbor, bought it from him. And so um, you just heat up the plasticine with your fingers and pack it in like you do here and then wipe it. And that works really well. So anyways, um, let me know what you think so far and let me know how you're doing with the coronavirus business. We here in Canada are in a bit of a lockdown, so I'm getting the chance to do this now. You know, it's a good time to do it. So yeah, hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon.